All right, welcome back, guys. I'm gonna give y'all a little bit of a weather update. We're gonna look at maybe some of those possible showers that we might be seeing later tonight, but more probable tomorrow. Again, we've been a little bit dry here in the state of Texas, not really seeing any of those storms, but we're starting to see a little bit of showers pop up towards the southern counties of the Concha Valley, and they're moving towards the northern counties. So we might be seeing some rain here in the next couple of hours here in the Concho Valley. We'll zoom in to get a little bit of a closer look at those showers. Again, they are coming in through those southern counties, so Sonora, Ozona, y'all out there in Junction. Might be seeing some rain for the next couple of hours, and it might be heading a little bit north, so El Dorado, Menard, y'all get ready to we'll see some of those showers tonight. And our current temperature right now in San Angelo, downtown, we're sitting at 85 degrees. Dew point is at 56 little bit humid out there not too bad though only sitting at 37 percent those winds however are really breezy sitting at 21 miles per hour right now again out of those south south winds to keep us a little bit cooler those temperatures again 86 here in san angelo robert lee and ballinger just a tad bit warmer than us sitting at 87 and coleman sitting at 86 but you do see those southern counties a tad bit cooler than us ozona sitting at 79 maybe those West the county's a little bit cooler as well. Big Lake sitting at 78, and Sonora sitting at 80, Junction 82. Again, just a tad bit cooler than the rest of us in, in those northern counties. And tonight, we're going to see maybe some possible showers. Those rain chances kind of pick up tonight, but it's really gonna be focused towards tomorrow. But again, we might see some tonight, like we're seeing in our southern counties right now breezy conditions don't go away. We're going to be seeing those 60s again tonight, mid 60s. Winds out of the south, 20 to 25 miles per hour, and gusts up to 35 miles per hour. And those winds don't really continue tomorrow. They kind of die down. We'll only be seeing 10 to 20 miles per hour winds, but those rain chances do stick around. We'll see those 60% rain chances, isolated showers across the Concho Valley. Our temperatures drop just a little bit, only reaching 82 for our high. And that's the update I have for y'all now. Make sure to join us live We'll have our full weather update, we'll have sports, and we'll have news headlines across the area. All right, thank y'all so much. Bye.